The Harvest Kids Honor Code We honor God, our leaders, and one another. H. Holding up God's word. O. Only loving and kind words. N. No fear or panic. O. Obey your leaders and follow directions. R. Respect our leaders, each other and ourselves. A harvest kid loves God, loves, loves people, people, and loves, loves life. life. As, As one, one church, church in global, global locations, locations. Wherever, wherever you, you are, are, we are. Faith, Faith confession. confession. I'm, I'm in my year of more. God will do more in me. God will do more through me. God will do more for me. Every day in Jesus' name, Amen. Welcome to the show. It's time, let's go. Grab your friends and get ready. Here comes our friend Eddie. Let's open up our Bibles. Become true disciples. Y'all ready to grow? It's an Eddie show. Let's go. Let's go. Hey everyone, what's up? It's so good to see you. I'm Mr. Blake here with my good friend Nettie. Hi everyone, man, Mr. B. It's smooth sailing today. Not a worry around. Ha <laughs> ha. And Nettie, you said it. We figured out how to talk to God. We helped Randy not to be afraid and to pray, and we were able to fix the entire town's power because we know that Jesus powers our prayers. Yep, I guess now we can just sit back and relax. Oh yeah, nothing could go wrong now. Whoa! Come back here, you chickens. What? What's going on? Hey, Mr. Blake and Nettie. Well, the chickens got all upset because of some bad news, so they ran away. What's the bad news? I might lose my farm. <laughs> Come back here, you chickens! Whoa! Oh no! Mandy might lose her farm! We gotta help her, Mr. Blake! Agreed. But first, I think we need to hear our main point, because I know it will help us. Okay, okay, what is it? Well, we've been talking all about prayer, and prayer is how we talk to God. We should always go to God with any problem we have, but we should also talk to God in the good times as well. So, today's main point is I pray every day. And come on, say it with me. I pray. I pray. Every day. Every day. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, we gotta go help Mandy, but first, let's pray. Good call, Mr. B. Dear Jesus, we love you, and we thank you and praise you for all that you've done for us. Help us to help Mandy save her farm. We'll be sure to give you all the praise and the honor for it. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen! Okay, let's go! Come on. <laughs> Mandy, are you okay? I might lose my farm. Well, we're here to help! Uh, Mandy, I, I just don't understand. How are you going to lose your farm? Well, this farm has been in my family for generations. And we have the deed to the property. And as long as we have the deed, the property is ours. But I haven't been able to find it for a few weeks. And the county court judge said that if I can't find the deed by noon today, the property will go to the highest bidder, which is Bob Orlando, <gasps> aiding to the stars and local grocery store chain owner. Bob Orlando. Not Bob Orlando! I don't know what I'm going to do. Where will the chickens live? Don't worry, Mandy. We're going to find that deed. It's impossible. I've looked everywhere. I should just give up. <sighs> Mandy, we got to find that deed. I just don't know what we're going to do. We have to keep that farm out of Bob Orlando's hands. Nettie, what are we going to do? <laughs> Man, it, it's just impossible. Mr. B! Not now, Nettie. I I'm too mad for anything. Too mad to, uh, pray? Pray? Like our main point? Main point? I pray every day. No matter the problem or what's going on, 
We will pray! Oh yeah, I'm so sorry, Nettie. I, I was just so focused on the problem, I forgot about prayer. Ah, oh, well, it happens to the best of us, Mr. V. The important thing is to remember that we should all keep our eyes focused on God! Okay, now, I have a plan, but first, we should pray. Sounds good. Dear Lord, we praise you and thank you for all you've done for us. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to figure out how to help Mandy and find this deed. We'll be sure to give you all the honor and glory and praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thanks, Nettie. So, what's the plan? Well, I'm going to go talk to Mandy and help her find the deed. Meanwhile, you're going to go talk some sense into that Bob Orlando. Sounds good. All right, let's do it. And now it's time for the joke of the day. <laughs> what? Oh, hey everybody, I'm Tank, and we're doing the joke of the day. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I forgot it though. Um, oh, that's right, I wrote it on my arm. Ha <laughs> let's see. Uh, what kind of music does a mountain like? Uh, probably disco. Ha <laughs> those guys are funky. <laughs> oh wait, uh, rock music. <laughs> That's way funnier, bro. <laughs> I'm Tank, and this is the joke of the day. Wow! And that was the joke of the day. I'm sorry, Miss Haley Beth. I gotta go talk some sense into Bob Orlando. I mean, he's trying to steal Mandy's farm. I gotta go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back, come back, come back. Come back. Okay, first you need to calm down. And second, Bob Orlando's in my shop looking for records. What? Really? Yeah, but f before you go in there, you need to take some deep breaths and calm down. Okay. Deep breaths. Mm -hmm. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. <clears throat> okay. I feel better. Thanks, Miss Haley Beth. Yeah, no problem. All right, I'm gonna go talk to him. Of course half the watermelon is missing. I'm selling it for half off. What do the customers expect from me? Ah, uh, I gotta go. Bob Orlando, out! Now just to find some soft, nice, soothing disco music. Where could it be? Bob Orlando, we need to talk. What? Who are you? It's me, Blake. Uh, Blake doesn't ring a bell. Uh, I always remember a face, but you? I got nothing! Um, we coached against each other in the go-kart race, you briefly were Nettie's music manager, and Bob Orlando, you watched my treehouse while I was away once. Oh, uh, yeah! Doesn't ring a bell! Uh, well, listen here. I heard that if Mandy can't find the deed to her farm, you were gonna buy it. That's true. Well, you can't. Mandy can't lose her farm. Listen, Reynolds! It's Blake. Uh, yeah, yeah, Blake! You don't have anything to worry about. And neither does Mandy. Wait, wait, what? Really? Really? When I become owner of that land and the farm, I'm gonna take care of it. You are? Yes, and by take care of it, I mean, I'm gonna bulldoze it and put in a large parking lot for my ginormous Bob Orlando shopping center. And guess what? You and Mandy and your little friend Tom can all get jobs there. I'll personally see to it. Oh, first off, it's Nettie, and Mandy needs that farm. It's hers. It's been in her family for generations. Can't you just understand? Look, look, look. The only thing that's been in my family for generations is wealth. And we didn't get it by not taking and stealing farms on weird deed rules and then destroying them. Well, Bob Orlando, did you even pray about it? W what? P pray? Yeah, like, pray to God. Uh... No. Well, the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Prayer is so important. You know, Bob, you should really pray about it. Bob! Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. I was totally listening to everything that you were saying about the first... Uh, Thessalonians. Just pray about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I might, uh, now I gotta go. I've got a tanning appointment in five minutes. Bob Orlando, out! Excuse me. Okay, we'll pray about it. All right, well, I'm gonna head back to the farm, and right now, I think it's a perfect time to check out our memory verse. I just know it'll help us. Hey everyone!
everyone, it's me, Miss Maddie, and it's time for our memory verse. Remember, we do our memory verse so that you can keep it in your heart all the time. Our verse today comes from the book of 1 John, and it shows us just how much God loves when we pray. We can go to Him with all of our needs because He hears our prayers. So, when you're ready, say, let's go! Let's go! Great! We're gonna say the verse three times. First, I'll say it, then you're gonna repeat after me, and then we'll say it all together. All right, let's do it. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. 1 John 5:14. Great job, everyone. Now repeat after me. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. 1 John 5.14 Wow, that was amazing! Now let's say it all together. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. 1 John 5.14. Great job, everyone. That was amazing, and I love that verse. Now remember, keep saying it and keep it in your heart. Where is it? Where could it be? Maybe, are you okay? No, I can't find the deed. I'm going to lose the farm. Well, have you prayed about it? I pray all the time. Yeah, but but have you prayed about this? This situation? Well, no. Well, our main point today is I pray every day. And what that means is, yes, we pray every day, but we also go to God with every situation, no matter how big or small. But this is huge. A giant problem. Nothing is too big for God. 1 John 5, 14. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. He will help you in this situation. And Jeremiah 32, 17 says that nothing is too hard for God. No problem is too big for God, Mandy. That's so good. Thanks, Nettie. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I thank you and praise you. You are so good. Lord, help me find this deed so that I can continue to do what you've called me to do, which is farm and take care of these chickens. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Whoa. Hey, Mr. Blake. Nettie was just telling me all about our main point. I pray every day. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, there was a man in the Bible named Daniel who prayed every single day. Prayer was a huge part of his life. He never missed an opportunity to talk with God. Even when the land that he lived in outlawed it, he continued to pray. Well, what happened to him? He was arrested, but he still prayed. Even when they threw him into a lion's den, he still prayed. What? Well, well then what happened to him? God sent angels to protect him, and when he was released the next morning, everyone in the land knew who the real God was. And even after getting out of the lion's den, Daniel continued to pray. Good or bad day, he prayed. That's awesome! It is. So, Mandy, did you find the deed? Not yet, but I know we will. We prayed about it. Oh, what was that? I don't know. We better get out of here. Come on! Come on, bring it on in! We're tearing it all down! Hey! <laughs> Bob Orlando, what are you doing? Oh, I'm clearing these old barns off my new beautiful land that will become Bob Orlando Shopping Center! <laughs> oh, that sounds nice. Nettie? Oh, 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 but not here! Choose some other piece of land! For sure! But first, Mandy, do you have the deed to your land? No. Well, then as the old song goes, this land was your land, now this land is my land, so get off it, so I can bulldoze it! It's not noon yet. What? Oh, 30 seconds till noon. I can wait half a minute. Enjoy your barn while you can, Mandy! What are we gonna do? We prayed, and I know God heard us. Ten, nine, eight, seven. What? Wait, what is that rumbling? 
chicken stampede! Oh, whoa! Oh, 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 whoa! Oh, oh. Bob Orlando, are you okay? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, I think so. That, that piece of paper broke my fall. Wait, let me see that. Mandy, look! It's the deed! The chickens must have had it the whole time! Praise God! I get to keep the farm! Praise God! <laughs> well, Bob Orlando, I think it's time to get your bulldozers off of Mandy's farm. So it is. Well, while I'm here, do you have the deed to your treehouse? Or can I buy that and bulldoze it? Uh, uh, we have it. Okay, okay. Back it up, boys! Bob Orlando, out! Thank you both so much for your help and reminding me to pray every day, no matter the situation. No problem, Mandy. Now, let's go catch those chickens. Come back here, you chickens. Hi, everyone. Miss Haley Beth here, and it's time for Core Values. Here in the record shop, we work by a set of four core values that help us be the best we can be. All right, let's get started. You can't have the rest without the first one. Love God. We love God because God loved us first. Let's all say love God like a DJ, like this, on the count of three. Wiki wiki, love God. Ready? One, two, three. Wiki wiki, love God. Awesome. The next one is love people. We love people because God loves all people just like we also love all kinds of music here in the record shop. So, on the count of three, let's spin it around like a record and say love people. One, two, three, love people. Awesome job, guys. Our third core value is do your best. And we do our best because God will do the rest. My favorite part of music is singing. So let's all sing do your best in your best singing voice on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Do your best. Beautiful. And last but not least is have fun. We have fun because God gives us joy. So let's all have fun and raise the roof while saying have fun as loud as we can. Here we go. One, two, three. Have fun. Ah, uh, those are some good core values. See you later, everyone. I pray every day. It's so important to talk to God every day. He loves talking with you and he wants to help you with any problems that you have. Nothing is too hard for God. But maybe some of you have never spoken to God or it's been a really long time. Well, I'm here to tell you that today is the perfect day to start your relationship with him. God wants to be your very best friend. It's really easy to ask Jesus to be your best friend. All you have to do is ask through prayer. Just close your eyes and bow your heads and repeat these words with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for giving your life on the cross for me. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my mistakes. Make me brand new and be my very best friend. Lord, help me to pray every day. I love you and I thank you. And it's in your name we pray and all God's people said, amen. Well, if that was your very first time asking God into your heart, I wanna tell you that I am so proud of you. And I want you to tell somebody in your life that you love and trust because they're gonna be so proud of you too. Mr. Blake, Mr. Blake, oh man, today was so much fun learning that I pray every day. Speaking of which, I think now is a great time to listen to Buddy Prescott's song about prayer called Pray Every Day. Let's do it. Yeah. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I talk to God through prayer. God gives me courage to pray. Jesus, that was my prayers. I 
Me too, but don't you think that he looks just a little bit like me? Uh, not at all. Really? Well, you know who he looks like? Scientist Drake, spot on! Uh, but Scientist Drake is my identical twin brother. Uh, I don't know. All right, well everyone, always remember, I pray every day. Okay, I'm gonna go show Scientist Drake this music video and how much he looks like Buddy Prescott. <laughs> He's my identical twin brother. If you say so. <laughs> we look just the same. Birthday? Did you get some gifts? How about some money? About a hundred dollars? Oh, uh, please don't. I guess we're writing on the screen there. So there's that hundred dollars we were talking about. Whoops, too many zeros. Far too many zeros there. That should just be a one and two zeros for a hundred. Okay, wait, come back. I'm sorry, do you still have that marker? You could help me teach how we can honor God with the money that we get or earn. All we have to remember is give, save, spend. If we have a hundred dollars, the first thing we're gonna do is give by taking out a tithe. Tithe is another word for 10%. The Bible tells us in Proverbs that tithing is something we should do to give back to God part of what he's given us. So 10% of $100 is... Don't worry about the math. It's $10. Whenever we get or earn money, we'll be wise and give 10% to the church so they can use those resources to keep helping people. Exactly. I like your draw. Well, hold on. We're not finished. Welcome back. We can't forget about save. Next, we'll take some money and we'll save it. The Bible tells us to be wise with the money God gives us. Saving some of our money for the future is smart. We'll put some of our money aside for a rainy day. That's just another way of saying putting money aside for emergencies. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to spend it on a rainy day. What are you, uh, oh, I see. Is that a cloud and rain? Yeah. A lightning bolt, two lightning bolts, three bolts. Uh, that's too much lightning. You're losing control here. Okay, are you all right? Ready for the last one? Good, now we can talk about spend. Once we give our tithe and we put some money aside, the rest of the money is ours to spend. But we shouldn't be unwise with our spending money. Before you spend your money, stop and think. Do you want your money to go or do you want your money to grow? So you could buy a bunch of candy. Does that seem wise? You could spend some of it on candy and maybe your brother's birthday present and maybe save the rest for later. Being wise with the money that we have is a great way to honor God. 
Thanks for helping me out. And don't forget to give, save, spend. Harvest kids. Love God. Love people. And love life.